Here's how to remove your Messenger pin code. Now, if you're on Facebook Messenger and it keeps asking you to enter in a pin or it's making you set a new pin for Facebook Messenger, I'll walk you through the entire process, what that is and how to remove it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, basically, a new feature on Messenger is end-to-end -end encryption. And essentially what it is, is it's Facebook Messenger's way to be able to store all of your messages on their servers through end-to-end -end encryption. So it basically says, how do I turn it on? And you'll need a pin code. You can try to restore it, all of that stuff. There's a bunch of information on here. But essentially, it's Facebook's way of storing all that on their servers. But it's kind of unnecessary, especially if you have everything backed up to your iCloud or backed up to your Google account. So let's hop into Messenger here. And to disable it, let's tap on the three lines at the top left. And then the gear icon at the very top right. Now that we're in here, you can see midway down is privacy and safety. Tap on that. And then you'll see end-to-end -end encrypted chats midway down. Tap on that. Now I have message storage turned on and you'll be able to see I have a pin code associated with that. I have a couple different options. I can choose to reset that pin. I can save that uh, key to the iCloud drive so that I don't need to remember it. But also on top of all of this stuff, I don't necessarily need to back up all of my messages on Facebook when I'm already backing them up through iCloud. Or if you have an Android, you're backing them up through your Google account. So you can choose to just hit turn off secure storage. And it basically says it will be removed from the storage on uh, Facebook, but I'm okay with that. Basically turn that off. And then you can also choose to just delete the secure storage if you wanted to as well. Keep in mind, this doesn't remove your messages. It just removes the storage on Facebook servers. So I can go back out of here and I'll show you, let's hit done and go back. And you can see all my messages are still there. None of them have been removed, but essentially now I'm just relying on all of them being backed up to either my iCloud or my Google account, depending on if you have an iPhone or if you have an Android, whatever you may have. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you used to have any questions. Thanks guys.